everybody, today I'm going to talk about my garage sale haul. Now if you're new here, Casino Summoner ring the bell. So I mentioned in an update video around four days ago where I was going to go to this big garage sale and I was going to do a vlog on it, but it was just so busy. But I wanted to kind of include some of the finds I found at this garage sale and I wanted to talk about that today. So yeah, let's get started. So uh, I hit a little bit of a jackpot because I was going to go on Saturday because I was impatient and I didn't want to wait until Sunday. But man, I'm so glad I went on Sunday because they were giving out a lot of discounts. They were trying to get rid of a lot of things. And that actually really helped because uh, I actually brought a certain amount of cash with me. I think I brought like 60 bucks. And uh, I'm so glad I did because I feel like sometimes I'll spend a little bit too much. So the first thing that I got are some controllers for uh, various consoles. So uh, I saw this in a box and I think it was like $15 for all of them. So uh, the first ones that I got are actual working Sega Genesis controllers. And they're, it's a little bit different because these are wireless or these take batteries. So I got two of these. I only have one working Sega Genesis controller. So it really helps I actually have two, even though they are battery powered. But it's actually kind of funny because it also came with a sensor bar to like plug into the two ports of the console itself. Oh yeah, this is by Acclaim. I haven't heard that name in years. Uh, so yeah, I got this and uh, it's pretty cool because like, I didn't really think that anything like this existed for like the, the consoles that old. So it's kind of cool having these uh, sensor bar and the two controllers. And another controller I got is an Xbox 360 controller. Now I do have one of these, but when I played, tried to play Dragon Slayer recently with this, the D-pad sucks. I don't know why it's terrible. Uh, I think this is the same like brand. Is this Rock Candy? I'm not sure, but I do like Rock Candy controllers, but this one doesn't work. Yeah, this is a clear one. And uh, the controllers aren't in the best condition, but they work. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it just needs a little bit of cleaning. But yeah, so uh, I probably will bring the Xbox 360 over from the other house here because I haven't, I kind of miss it. And then this was the one that I thought was really cool. So I got a green original Xbox or original Xbox controller. So I was trying to find these recently because uh, like I haven't really found like a good reason to buy one up until today. And uh, yeah, it's a original Xbox green controller, like kind of like Halo. Now, the only thing with this is, is that the uh, joysticks are a little dirty. So I will try to clean that. Like I used to actually really like the uh, actual uh, Duke controller like this, but uh, like I honestly think that I like this better because I still don't really get the hate for the Duke controller for the original Xbox, but this is way better. Like, I mean, I think I mentioned in the revisiting the original Xbox video and uh, I mentioned that I like that controller better, but this is way more compact and perfect. So this is what I'm used to, this form factor more. I mean, not to say that the Duke controller is bad. Some people say it is, but uh, yeah, I just like this better. And then I got a couple other things. Uh, so I got a uh, Rubik's Cube. Now I think I did have one of these. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, it was an off-brand one. Uh, I actually have been meaning to buy another one because, because I did have a 4x4 one, but it was just too complicated. So I just got the 3x3 one. It's so funny because like I used to like kind of got the gist of it a little bit to solve it. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's not the best condition though. Um, it's actually kind of weird because there is one piece missing of the green, but it, it's not too bad. It's, I, I will probably use this as a prop, putting it next to Pepsi Man and uh, Teddy Ruxpin over there. And actually, I think I have something else over here. Yeah, so uh, this bag was what all the stuff came in that I got. So uh, actually another thing I got, which I almost forgot, is uh, I got a Wii Nunchuck. I have been looking for one of these because the Nunchucks and the Wii that I currently have are terrible. So it's nice having one of these. And actually these were bought together. So that's what I was about to say. It was in one booth and uh, the guy charged me a dollar for both of these, which is actually kind of cool because like the Rubik's Cube usually goes for around 10 and these Nunchucks, like some of these Nunchucks seem to be a little like not worth the money. But yeah, I got working nunchuck, which is pretty cool because they did have like different Wii remotes and stuff, but I just have so many Wii remotes, but I don't have enough nunchucks. So yeah, that's pretty cool that I got these together. And then uh, let's move on to kind of the bigger things. So 
uh, I got uh, NBA Jam on the Sega Genesis because there was actually, yeah, there was a whole retro gaming booth and I wish I got it on camera, but I just really didn't think it would have been possible to do a video there because it was just, it's so big. Like it was so massive. It was even bigger than Relics. There was a ton of video games that I wish I filmed. There was like Super Smash Bros. Melee too. Most of it was overpriced, but it was like five bucks. So it's nice getting NBA Jam. Uh, I think this is like worth $10, so I got a little bit of a discount. But yeah, so because Sega Genesis, that's one of the systems that I don't have very many games for. I mean, actually I do have some of the good ones. But, uh, like, it's cool having the NBA Jam, so. This one I actually got on accident, because, uh, I mean, this isn't big, but it's something that, yeah, I got on accident. Uh, I accidentally got a lighter. Um, nailed it. I don't know why I got this. It's weird, because it was completely an accident, because, uh, it was the, uh, bag that I'll mention in a second. Uh, just had a lighter in it, so I just got it for free, I guess. And then, there we go. Boom. Look at that. Now, I don't smoke at all. Like, I don't, like, I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna use this, but it's actually kind of cool. But yeah, I got that for free. I don't know what happens. It's, I think someone accidentally put this in here. But yeah, uh, I got a lighter. And then here are the big things. I got a film camera, a Fuji film to be exact. Now, I've been trying to find a film camera for a long time that is not expired film, because I do actually have a Polaroid back in the background as a prop but when i bought that polaroid it was expired film that film isn't even made for it anymore but luckily i got this uh fuji film camera i'm still trying to figure out how it works uh, i don't even how, know how to turn it on yet uh the color is not it's not terrible it's just, it's not my favorite. This was actually cheaper than, I got this for like 20 bucks. That's because I really like that aesthetic. It's kind of weird because I've noticed that with like digital or like physical media and stuff, like I always prefer physical media. Like I did a whole video on that about like DVDs and CDs and why I think they should be preserved. But yeah, it's a pretty cool camera. I got this for like 20 bucks. So yeah. Here's the big thing. So this is what was really cool. Now, some people might say this is not big, but uh, it, it's big in terms of like quantity. But uh, I have really been getting into a subgenre of music recently. So uh, I've been getting into like jazz and like blues and like the big band sound from like the 30s and stuff like that. I got a ton of cassette tapes. Now, uh, I wasn't gonna collect cassette tapes for a long time because I just really didn't, had no interest in it. But like, I just got so many cassette tapes and uh, I actually got a DVD and CD sleeves too. This whole thing was free. Yes, all of this was free. What happened was, is that uh, one of the booths I went to, especially the one that had these, uh, they were trying to get rid of them. They were just like, it used to be, or like yesterday, as I'm recording this, that it was a dollar each for each ca cassette tape. I got all these for free. And actually, she was originally gonna charge me a dollar for all of them, but since I couldn't find a dollar in the wallet, I think she just took pity on me and just say, here, you can have all of them. So, uh, that's, so I'm so glad I went on Sunday because, or today instead of Saturday, because I got a lot of good deals. And I also like, that these are in different colors. This, and it, I think this is brand new. And Memorex, it's the same brand I see all the time, but I like it, so. I wanted to show off a little bit of the cassette tapes that I found. Uh, yeah, it just, I, how many, how many are in here? There's like 20 cassette tapes in here. And even cassette tapes are still really cheap. Like I might could start collecting those because I mean, CDs are okay, but CDs like, they scratch like this. I feel like sometimes, like even when a tape is like kind of degrading over the years, it still has a little bit of a different sound. But uh, actually some of these are sealed. Like uh, the John Lee Hooker, like the blues, like blues music and like big band music. That's what's mainly in here. And uh, yeah, I got this and a seal. I'm not gonna show off every single one of them. This is the one I thought was really cool. So I actually already listened to this off camera or some of it. The, be the best big bands. So, uh, I just love that big band sound. Like, and I know most of it is kind of like instrumentals, but that's actually kind of what I like about it. And I also like the vocal performances too. But I just really like this type of music. And like, especially recently. 
And uh, there actually are some other different, uh, like, artists too. Superstars of the 70s. It's just so many cassette tapes are for free. And, uh, oh, George Michael. I got one from George Michael. I didn't think that one would be in there. It just, I don't even know what some of these have in here. I got 20 cassette tapes for free, which is freaking insane. So, uh, like, I just really like physical media. I just love protecting it, and I think it should be preserved. Yeah, so that's my garage sale haul. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I was going to do a video at the garage sale itself, but I... I Feel like it would have been a wouldn't have been good if i filmed it because i wanted to do it mainly here because uh it's a little bit more relaxed and i tell you guys what i got so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later peace